The Chinese pavilion at COP27 saw Beijing push strongly to focus on adaptation, an issue many experts say is crucial, yet often marginalized. That we are to comprehensively respond to the climate crisis, we need to equally focus on adaptation and mitigation. Adaptation has always been seen as the neg neglected half of the global climate equation. The recent UNEP adaptation gap report clearly shows that the world is falling far behind in protecting people. The head of the Chinese delegation at COP27 and Vice Minister of Ecology and Environment highlighted on Thursday the strong impact adaptation could have. That came as he presented the 2035 National Climate Change Adaptation Strategy. The world has a lot to learn from the Chinese government. China is the only uh, government in the world which has put adaptation at the heart of its economy and development indeed. I'm very uh, supportive of the policies of President Xi Jinping. He is the one who put the 2035 climate adaptation strategy of China on the table. The Chinese adaptation strategy views climate adaptation as a collective global approach. It therefore offers exchange of technology and knowledge between China and its international partners. China provided developing countries with microsatellites, long-range cameras, mobile man-controlled machines and other equipment to support and improve the ability of natural disaster monitoring and early warning and adaptation to climate change. We are willing to strengthen exchanges of knowledge and mutual learning through research with all parties to form a strong synergy to adapt to climate change. UN climate scientists say global temperature rise could reach 1.5 degrees Celsius as early as 2030, exacerbating the extreme weather the world is already experiencing. As the world is falling behind to meet its emissions target, adaptation has become inevitable. And here at COP27, China is opening its doors to discuss its 2035 adaptation plan to share knowledge about how the country intends to maintain stability and economic growth during a vigorously changing climate. Aydele Mahroui, CGTN, Sharm el-Sheikh.